Center Coast tonight, the community is coming together in a big way to help a man who was brutally attacked by his own son. First told you about this in December. It was a vicious beating suffered by Reggie Chapman. His home was also set on fire. Chapman says he was prepared to just give up. But as Ari Height tells us tonight, the community was never going to let that happen. can't even tell right now that there was a fire in here. Reggie Chapman gave us a tour of what is soon to be his new home. You can see the new wood over there that's been replaced. But getting to this spot has been a difficult journey to say the least. In December, Reggie's son, who has battled mental illness for years, attacked him in the home. He reached down and grabbed a pipe and just turned around and started swinging. Reggie suffered injuries not just to his face and head, but to his whole body. His son wasn't finished, dousing the home with gasoline and setting it on fire. Reggie barely escaped. It got everything in the house. <laughs> I mean, I think, I don't think there was anything that, that wasn't smoke damage. But that is when misery turned to miracle. Martin County firefighters, many who put out the fire, returned a few days later during their off time to clean up. We gutted every single thing here, the damaged drywall, the insulation, everything. We, we brought this place bare to the studs. Once destruction was complete, they started construction. 30 volunteers doing anything and everything to rebuild the home. And that is about when Habitat for Humanity Martin County got involved. And I felt like it was just something that the community needed. It was just a story that, that needed to be, have a happy ending. And over the last eight months, they've created that happy ending. Nearly all the materials and labor donated for free. It's the right thing to do at the end of the day. It's what we're supposed to do. It's what our community is supposed to do. It's we're supposed to all be here for each other. And, and, and it's just the way it works. I guess sometimes I don't show my emotions the way I should, but um, it's hard to put into words what people have done for me. And there is still an awful lot of work that needs to be done before this home will be ready. They're still looking for somebody to do the drywall. Habitat for Humanity has set up a specific fund just for this project. If you would like to help, we've put a link to that fund on our website, WPBF.com. In Stewart, Ari Height, WPBF 25 News.